Really, uh, thank you for that. Um, it's going to be our last presentation from Han, the CEO of EOS Node One. So Hans, Han was an entrepreneur in residence uh, of Future Play, uh, Foundation X. I'm sorry, Foundation X, and he started EOS Node One with a simple mission to create healthier EOS ecosystem. Please welcome Han to the stage. Hello, everybody. Uh, my name is Han, and I think I'm feeling really crazy today. I mean, so how many of you are here are from, I'm using this word, traditional, traditional startup world? Raise your hand. Quite few. Okay. I have, I spent like six, seven years in startup world, and I just jumped into the uh, blockchain world from this year, and I cannot really, I mean, it's really crazy. Blockchain words moves at least 10 times faster. I'm really, really feeling it. So now, uh, I joined Foundation X this March 1st, uh, bring with my own little project called the EOS Not One, and then I launched a project in nine weeks ago. I, uh, we announced our EOS block producer candidacy in March 4th. So it's been a little more than two months. Within these two months, we end up becoming the biggest EOS community in Korea. And we ended up making six community proposals. And then, for the first time in ever since EOS mainland launch in June, 16, uh, June 15th, we made this. EOS Community Conference 2018. More than 35 countries, 50 block producers from all around the world, more than 20 BPs, all here in this very room, four hours ago, in this very room. <laughs> you are sitting here right now. Isn't this crazy? It's only been eight weeks. Just now. So let me ask you this question because you, you are in a crypto world. Why are you investing in crypto? It's very simple. We talk a lot for this, for that. Eventually, it's this one, right? Moon, Lambo. Yeah, let's be honest, right? So, I'm doing EOS because EOS is different for this one. Long-term moon for all. Long-term is a long-term, and it's for all. It's not a short-term for some. So let me explain how it is. EOS token economy is based on staking. You know, I guess a lot of you here is very familiar with uh, Steam, how Steam works, right? You stake to your Steam coin, and then you have some power to use in Steamit ecosystem so that you don't sell your tokens in the exchanges right away, right? So pretty much EOS token economy is working in the same way as Steamit. So let me explain. So this is a EOS blockchain, right? And then there's three different categories of players. First one, you, EOS token holders. I saw. Somebody asked, uh, how many of you are EOS token holders? I, see, I saw quite a few are EOS holders. So it's you, token holders. And it's me, block producers. And who else? There's uh, dApps, right? Three different categories of players. And you stake your token to cast a vote, to elect block producers, me. If I'm elected, I make money. You vote me, and I make money. <laughs> All right? So EOS holders here, please vote me, please. I will. Thank you. <laughs> OK, so what do I use? how do I use that money? So I maintain the uh, blockchain, and I produce, uh, I provide computing resources for dApps so that they can make a, uh, tools or 
apps they can actually use by users. And then they, they, when they're going to do that, they got to stake their own tokens in the system. They're not just, making, they, they're not just using the blockchain. They got to stake their own EOS coins in the system. In that way, they, you know, they issue tokens and they airdrop to the EOS token holders like you. Right? So it's based on staking. So more vote, more voting me, more staking. You gotta, it, it implies that you stake more and more dApps. There's, if there's more dApp thriving, there's more coins staked. It's more coins staked. What does it mean? Less supply in the exchanges. What does that mean? Price increase. For now, there's a 30% of all the circulation is staked, but then we eventually, we foresee there's going to be even 80, 90% will be staked. What does that mean? Moon. <laughs> <laughs> so EOS has this special token economy where voters, BPs, and DAPs' interest is perfectly aligned. So as a BP, EOS node 1 aligns, further aligns everybody's interest. How? By investing block production revenue, the money you gave us, it's not gave us, by voting us, we make money, right? We use that money to incubate the DAP and let them issue a token to give you more airdrops. It's not everybody, not for everybody. Those who stake the tokens, not for speculators, so we hate speculators, pump and dump. We don't like that because it only have for those some people, right? So in terms, uh, it, it's a little bit like a, uh, it's a movement. Instead of just a speculate, instead of just a pump and dump, why don't you just stake together, right? And then what happens? Yeah, everybody interest further aligned. Some more airdrops, and if you get the airdrops, what does it mean for you? You have more motivation to use their dApps. It's a virtual circle. That's what I'm trying to make here, all right? So how we do that? Who do we do with? Foundation X. Foundation X. Why? They got this soul. They they know how to make friends. They know how to make, how to collaborate. Open-minded. Like it. They help us. And I head back. So we make friends. And we help each other. And more trust. And we want to make that happen with Foundation X. And let me close with this uh, little quote. Crypto is a socio-economic transformation in disguise of speculation. So we're not, we, yeah, we, we are here to make money, but then in the end, it means way more. Thank you.